Hey there, it's Gus Wagner with The Rocket Group and here on our Friday Facebook Live session I want to talk to you today about three lies and three truths in social media. Um, got a couple topics here that uh, frequently come up and I thought lies and truths about them would be a great way to address that situation. Uh, the, the first one here is one that you might have heard us talk about before and that's I need to be on every social media platform. Well, that's a lie. That is an absolute lie. Um, you need to be on the platforms where your audiences are at, first off. You need to be uh, focused on where the greatest number of folks who are most likely to respond to your message, to spend money with you, or to at least want to be or need to be aware of you and your efforts are at. And in 99% of cases, here in 2016, uh, October of, 19, of 2016, that is going to be on Facebook. Facebook obviously is the big blue. They've got around 57% of the online digital audience uh, engage with them on a daily basis. Uh, 1.6 billion people around the world are using Facebook uh, monthly. And uh, that's a lot of folks. That's a lot of things to compete with. Now there's smaller niche platforms out there. Your, uh, your Twitter's my favorite, uh, my historical favorite. Uh, Instagram, which is owned by Facebook. Uh, Snapchat is the big shiny object everybody talks about these days. These are all great platforms and a hundred others are great platforms and they've all got their uses. But if you're trying to reach critical mass, if you're trying to reach uh, the, the, the sweet spot of your business uh, customers and prospects, it's probably going to be on Facebook more than it's going to be on any other platform. Now, the truth about this is that you shouldn't ignore these platforms. What you should do, uh, first off, is go and set up an account. Skip, make sure you've got your name saved on Twitter or Snapchat or another platform that you might not be using actively, but if you ever do need to evolve to that platform, your name is available. So instead of Joe's Tire, you can be Joe's Tires, or instead of Joe's Tires on Main Street, right past the Crooked Tree as your address. Because what's going to happen is somebody else is, with a similar name is going to take your business, and it might be a competitor, it's going to take your business name. So the lie is, no, you don't have to be on every social media platform. The truth is you need to prepare yourself for the eventuality that a social media platform might explode, might become relevant to your audience, and you need to be prepared by at least getting your name on that said social media platform. Now the second one we want to talk about, uh, it talked about multiple social media platforms. Again, here's another lie. You need to be posting the same content across all the different social media platforms. That's a lie. Uh, what you need to be doing is being aware of the way the different uh, users and audiences talk on the various social media platforms. How the people talk on Facebook is different from how they talk on Twitter versus how they talk on Snapchat versus how whatever. Um, you've got to, um, I always love these when these phone alerts come up during a Facebook live broadcast. This is live broadcast here, live streaming, so things like that are going to happen. I'm sure I'll get two phone calls while I'm doing this as well. Um, so you, you need to, if you're going to use more than one social media platform, you can use the same content, but format that content what's going to work best on the various platforms. You wouldn't take a Facebook post and cross it over to Instagram directly unless you've got some really great photography, a really great piece of video that can be used uh, for, uh, for the Instagram post. Instagram relies on great visuals and if you don't have a great visual to tell your story of your content, it's not going to work on Instagram. So if you've got the great visual that you use on Facebook and it'll work on Instagram, go for it. Uh, on Twitter, uh, if you're going to be posting, uh, well, first off, never ever link your Twitter and Facebook accounts. Please unlink those if you have those linked. First uh, reason is, is that if the Facebook post goes out to Twitter, which is on a mobile device, uh, for the most part, people are reading that on a mobile device. They're going to hit your fb.me links, and they're not going to work. They uh, Try it. Go ahead and try it and see if your Facebook links are working on Twitter. Uh, they are not. It'll show you that there's a broken link. You'll get a little down arrow from Facebook or down thumb from Facebook saying that the link is broken. Uh, second off is if you're, uh, the, the, the language of Twitter does not translate well to Facebook. All the app mentions um, and such do not hot link properly, so you've got a bunch of gibberish in your sentence on your Facebook posts. So please unlink those uh, accounts. Now if you've got, again, if you've got relevant content, relevant links, relevant images, relevant video that'll work across the various social media platforms uh, and relate to those audiences on those different social media platforms, then go for it. Um, 
what we generally do is, uh, and here's the truth, here's the truth on this one. What we try to do is we can use the same forms of content, the same themes of content, the same blog posts, what have you, but we create different ways to present it. One's got a photo, one's got a video, one's got a uh, graphic, uh, what have you. Uh, we are using the various different platforms, uh, different hashtags uh, and, uh, and such on those social media platforms. So a tweet is not gonna look like a Facebook post, which is not going to look like a um, Instagram post. So everything could might maybe end up in the same destination, but it's going to look different and be functional to the audience that's going to see it on the specific social media platform. So uh, another and the final lie we're going to talk about today, there's plenty more lies about social media that are out there and modern marketing and digital marketing that are out there. If you have any of your own that you've heard, that you have questions about, Feel free to send them away uh, along this way. Feel free to message us here on the Facebook. Feel free to shoot us a message. Search at Rocket Group and you'll find us across pretty much everything, including our website, rocketgroupllc.com. Um, the third one here is one that we've talked about often and you may have heard us talk about it before, but uh, this is a lie that audience numbers matter. And we just talked about this earlier this week uh, in another setting, uh, in, in, a, in a live setting. Audience numbers matter. Does not matter. It doesn't, it's a lie. That it does not matter if you have one follower, 10,000 followers, 10 million followers. If those followers are not one, real, if they're all a bunch of spam bots and, and such, if you just collected that, you're talking to an empty room. Um, if they can't do business with you, then you're talking to an empty room. If they're not interested, and thanks for joining whoever just signed in. If you got any questions about lies and truths, feel free to put those down in the comments as we're having this live streaming broadcast. Um, two, if it's a bunch of folks, if you're a local business, Say you're a tire shop, a coffee shop, what have you, and you're limited to a certain amount of service area or a geographic region, um, you don't want to get a bunch of fans. We get friends, family, connections, advertising, uh, uh, people who've arrived through your advertising. You don't want them to be from 500 miles away, much less 100 miles away, because they're not going to drive 100 miles for your cup of coffee or your tire change, regardless of how good you are. Uh, there's plenty of a competition uh, in their local area that they can do business with. They're not going to come to you. So if you build, you, the audience number you need to build up is the people who can actually respond to your calls to action. And whether that call to action is to get them to walk in the door, to get out their checkbook, write a check, pick up the phone and call you, what have you. Make sure that you are communicating content that has value to that audience, that prospective audience, and that you are advertising, marketing, what have you, to people who can actually do business with you. So that would be the truth there. Uh, the lie is that audience numbers matter. It doesn't matter unless that is it. one follower, 10,000 followers, 10 million followers, or people who can do business with you or can relate to your message. Or, uh, and the truth is, yes, the audience matters. Audience numbers do matter but they have to be able to be relevant to your message and they have to be able to respond to your message and be interested in responding to your message. So that's a, that's a little bit of a harsh reality there that your 1,000 followers, your 10,000 uh, Facebook fans might not matter as much as you think they do. So focus on the ones that you do. Uh, what a truth, truth is, uh, a truism that we use is we try to pick out a specific uh, customer or prospect in our mind when we're developing content for ourselves and for our clients. We have that person in mind that we're writing, we're creating video, we're giving a speech, what have you, to that one specific person. And uh, if we can win that person over, uh, we are going to do a good job of bringing in more folks. So, and that'll work for you as well. So, again, I'm Gus Wagner. I own the Rocket Group. I thank you for the time here today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, if you want to make fun of me for making this live video, uh, feel free to reach out to us anytime here on the Facebook page uh, or on the various uh, social media or web platforms or the real life experiences that you might encounter us with. So, reach out anytime at Rocket Group. Gus Wagner, thanks for the time. We'll see you soon. Bye.